Hey guys, Les Designs here and welcome back to the digital painting series for the beginners. And in this tutorial we're going to um, start going towards more of the photo manipulation bits. Um, so what we're going to cover in this series uh, or this episode is how to create or recreate shadows realistically. Um, and just some other little adjustments that we can make once we start bringing in pictures into a scene and as you can tell um, this tree was not there before only this um, field and then I just put the tree in there and then um, we made some adjustments to that to um, sit in our field so that's our tree right there then the next thing we're going to create is we'll just give it a color adjustment just so it looks a bit greener and nicer the next thing we're going to do after that is give it a nice drop shadow and I'll show you exactly how to create that and then we got our scene quickly and efficiently created. Um, I'll probably put links to these um, files in the description below so you guys can do exactly the same exercise as what I'm doing. Um, if not just get a field and a tree it shouldn't be too difficult to recreate what I'm doing. So let's get started. Um, so first thing we open up our picture we'll leave that as it is and now I'm just going to bring in my um, uh, tree that I got. So now that I bring in my tree, as you can tell, I got a white background. So um, we could either get rid of that in two different ways. We could um, just set the layer style from normal to maybe darken, and that gets rid of the white. Um, or we could just go simply to select color range, select the white, bump up the fuzziness. And as you can tell, it selects all the white in our image, just to leave that. And there we go. Um, I'll, for this exercise, I'll probably just set it on um, darken for the sake of it. Ooh, like so. So I'm just going to place my tree wherever I want it to sit. I want it somewhere in the distance, um, just so you can recreate the shadows better. Um, now, the first thing that you got to think about is obviously well, light so well where the light source is coming from. Um, so in this picture it's probably about midday, so it's from somewhere um, around here. And I can also tell that if you pay attention to the shadows and where the highlights are, um, as you can tell the trees in here are fairly shaded, so they're not very lit, lit very well. So the um, sun is probably up here somewhere, which means um, that our shadow will be cast this way or even if it isn't it doesn't matter for now because um, we can't really see where the shadows are we're going to put our shadow right here and um, we'll also make some adjustments to the highlights in the tree so what we're going to use is the um, burn tool so if you uh, set it to mid tones and about 50 percent exposure should do just to get rid of um, the highlights where obviously this tree was shot so now that we've done that, let's darken it up. You can also set it to highlights and just get rid of those roughly. Uh, you don't have to go over the top. And then we're going to set to dodge, about 25% exposure, mid tones. We're just going to give it like um, some light as if it's hitting only from the top. Um, so it blends in better with our scene. Um, and obviously later on once we start doing proper matte painting it will be very important to get the lighting right so we might as well start practicing it now um, so now that we've got the lighting roughly la uh, right what we can do is we can just make a new layer and set that to color if I find it and now basically what this does is um, now if we start if I just make a selection by holding down Control alt and click on my tree layer. That doesn't work very well because we didn't get rid of the um, white color. So if I just set this on normal quickly, go to select color range, delete all the white, like so. Um, and then if I just go on color again, set this layer to color, hit control click on that layer to make a selection around our tree. Now I'm just going to pick up my brush tool, pick a nice greenish color and then if you have a look you're going to start 
painting our terrain. So obviously um, now it's greener. We can also um, go to image adjustments, brightness contrast, and um, you can turn down, if you think that it's too bright, we can turn down the brightness a little bit and it will probably blend in a little bit better. It will make it look more, na uh, give it a more natural color. So after we've done that, we're going to create a shadow and to do that you're simply going to duplicate the um, color that the I mean the layer that the tree is sitting on by holding down control alt up arrow and I'm just going to make a selection around it again like we did before before that I really want to get rid of so if I just move this down I'm going to get rid of this um, white line on the top so if I just select it and delete that. Now if I hold on Control Alt, make a selection around it. I'm gonna make sure that my background color is black. Hold on Control and start hitting backspace. As you can tell it shades in our layer um, black. So I'm just gonna get um, rid of these bits around here that I don't need but they're still there. Obviously my color range tool didn't get rid of that very well. So now that I did, we're going to place it back where the tree is supposed to sit. And I'll just touch it up a little bit more because there's still some around here. When we press Control T for free transform, we're going to um, choose a skew. And then I'm going to place the corners to about where the shadow would sit. Like so. So I think my shadow would sit about here, roughly. Um, I'm not going to be too accurate with this for now because um, I don't want this tutorial to go on forever but I think that will roughly about do I think so now I press enter and then simply we're just going to set the opacity to about 50% now after we've done that we're going to duplicate this layer again by control up arrow going to pick a fairly big eraser with a fairly big fall off Capacity about 62%. I'm just going to shade, um, I'm going to start erasing the bottom bit of that layer because what I want to achieve is um, the darkest bit I want it at the bottom of the tree. And as we go out, I want it to go a little bit lighter, not too extreme because it seems like the light is quite strong. But um, obviously, you can play around with this, try to make it more real. You can duplicate this one again just to make it more dark around here and then erase it as you see it fit so this is it for this episode guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something new go out there and start practicing how to recreate shadows and so on um because for the next episode that we're going to start we're actually going to start going into um proper matte painting i might also carry on with just purely digital painting um, later on if you guys request that but um, this series will now start going into math painting so we're gonna actually start a proper um, big project where we're gonna work together to bring um, a normal picture into something completely different by combining different elements and then painting on top of them and so on um, so stay tuned for that make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next episode